Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. He even greased his partner to make it look good. If you got doubts, why take the chance? We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go, man. The clock's ticking. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, oh, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, oh, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, but not like he'll be able to spend it. Feds will be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whacked him. If I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use him to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. Watch out! Anyway, damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? Come on, you gonna answer the question or what? Yeah. We're on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goof getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. Dodge it to me. You're gonna attract the cops! 
Uh, like I was saying. What the fuck you doing? Anyway, guards at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. <laughs>